you know, it, it, there are some outlets that are trying to present both sides uh-huh. accurately, uh, okay. but that's not something that um, uh, Medhi Hassan thinks is a good idea. He's, uh, I think, he has a show on MSNBC. Uh, yeah, and NBC. He had a quote here from. I uh, got a couple clips of him here talking on the uh, the Knight Foundation, the K N I G H T Knight. He's a he's a knight of some kind of round table, maybe uh, not 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 Canary Cry for sure, but somewhere. And um, he said these words: There are two words we need to remove from our media vocabulary right now, and that is both sides. This fundamental crutch. This reliance on both sides as a kind of lazy way of covering our political moment is deeply dangerous. There are a bunch of major issues in which there are not both sides. There are not both sides on climate change. There are not both sides on white supremacy. There are not both sides on democracy. Ben, there are not both sides on the Holocaust. I mean, we live in America where in South Lake, Texas school district, an administrator is on tape. My colleagues at NBC News got the recording telling teachers, if you give a kid a book about the Holocaust, you need to give them a book with the opposing view. What is the opposing view on the Holocaust? So there are not both sides. Right, and that is obvious. That is obvious. That is obvious. That is obvious. <laughs> I like even the guy moderating the conversation is like, okay, okay, we don't need to bring the Holocaust into this. That is obvious. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, by the way, a wonderful example of reductio ad Hitlerum, which is uh, sort of a tongue in cheek uh, rhetorical fallacy. Uh, reductio ad hitlerum you could almost just i don't need to define it for you but it's uh we it's can just jump over of to an the ad yeah i'm looking at it now it's a form yeah, of yeah. an ad hominem ad mis uh misericordian or fallacy of irrelevance wow. yeah, suggested rationale card. is one it's, of guilt by association yeah an attempt to invalidate someone else's position on the basis that the same view was held by adolf hitler or the nazi party arguments can correctly be called Reductio ad Hitlerum if they are fallacious, e.g. arguing that and then it goes on. So you get the point. If you start bringing up Hitler and I think by extension the Holocaust, you are using a rhetorical device that is meant to shut down any conversation. And here he is, an elite member of the mainstream media, straight up saying, no, no, we don't give two sides of things. Now, look, I'm not even fully invested in the media being required to present both sides of something simply just the facts you know just Mm -hmm. just do the facts yeah and that is the problem especially in his climate change uh, example example, is they will present certain scientific data that supports climate change and they will ignore certain scientific data that it does not validate the popular opinion that is not asking for both sides of an argument that's simply asking for the all available facts mm-hmm. and uh you know there you go he's a wonderful representative of the mainstream media even more so the legacy mainstream media uh thinking that it's it's not their job to present facts or some yeah. sort of you know arguments or something it is simply their job to disseminate the accepted information mm, or or the the information or the the sentiment that they want the public to adhere to yeah. um or and, their advertisers oh, or their, saying, yeah I was, the yeah. other part was going to be that he, what he's really saying is if you really want clicks you gotta you gotta pick the the thing and then push it you know because you can say the same thing from the other side of the arg- you know the aisle yeah. The anti-climate people, you got to, you got to take a side. There's no both sides. Right. Um, or you present the other side to tear down. Right. So this guy here, this guy interviewing uh, Medhi Hassan here kind of gives an example of a, uh, what about uh, this issue? It was like a more benign issue. And yeah. then Medhi accuses him of straw manning. Oh, <laughs> does he? Enough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I cut that part out. Cause I didn't know that there was going to be a theme coming up, but Medhi continues with uh, his example based on his, uh, the pushback from the host here. For example, what should the corporate tax rate be? I think that's a perfectly legitimate debate to have. Right. What should the level be? Of course, there's both sides on that. Right. Okay. But on the big issues of our time, on whether people should be able to vote, on whether people should be able to get to a ballot box, on whether uh, one party should be able to overturn an election, no, there's not both sides. On whether you know QAnon, which is now dominating, which the leader of the Republican Party is now endorsing the idea that America is run by a cabal of media pedophiles yeah there's no both sides i don't on think there are both sides on that one yeah, I don't, I, 
<laughs> this guy. What? Uh, they're both sides. All right. There's not both sides on if our corporate elite is run has has at least pedophil- pedophilic tendencies. That's interesting. Yeah. So anyway, j- yeah, f- interesting that he would bring up QAnon as part of, part of like. Oh, at first, yeah. he brings up Hitler, and then he brings up QAnon. Right. He, he just goes straight, straight to the for most the jugular the, man. Yeah. The, the most inflammatory examples of things. Yeah. Yeah. That's hilarious. Um, you know, I got this cat. I got to let out. We have sure. another story here. Do you want to start on this while I Real disappear quick, for one second? Yeah, I don't think we should spend too much time on it, but this is from the dailymail.co.uk and the headline here, Steve Bannon is paraded through New York court in handcuffs. Paraded? Paraded. Oh, they threw him a parade. <laughs> Perk walk. Um, I'm just going to read the bullet points here to get to the point. Bannon is... Bannon, is expected to be released on no cash bail and surrender his passport. Bannon has handed himself over to authorities in New York state where he is expected to face fraud charges over his, we built the wall charity scheme. Anytime you use the word scheme, it makes it sound worse instead of just charity. It's a scheme. When you really look at the definition of a scheme, every, every fundraising or charity has a scheme behind it, but okay. David Schuen, who represented Trump in his second impeachment trial, will represent Bannon in court. Bannon was arranged Thursday for, uh, before state Supreme Court Judge Juan Mercan in Manhattan and pleaded not guilty. So there you go. That's uh, a little bit. And there's some pictures here of Bannon uh, doing his little perk walk. Doesn't look too crazy or anything like that. He's smiling in this photo op in court couple of police officers on either side uh handcuffed you know his hands behind his back handcuffed nice little photo op this screams a you know sort of a trumpian virtue signal type of deal where it's kind of a you know a, a vi- victim a victimhood yeah, yeah like a martyrdom. martyr yeah martyrdom type um, of deal and i mean the reason that he's getting booked is actually pretty interesting and i think did they i'm sorry i went and let the cat out did did you talk about why he's being booked well, i just read the bullet points which was that uh <laughs> yeah the bullet point says that it's because he uh the, the we, these fraud charges over the we built the wall charity scheme that I right it's the scheme, gofundme yeah. it's the gofundme where trump supporters added to the gofundme to build the wall themselves they right, were going right, to build right, right. they were going to buy private land and build their own wall and they raised a bunch of money i think 15 million dollars and then suddenly all the people who were sort of running the thing had new yachts had new houses had new I'm stuff on a boat. Uh, this is for living pretty large and yeah it was a little it was a little sneaky now i don't know exactly what bannon's um you know role and it was i think i think that his thing was like he was just giving it trump cred is you know if bannon's on there then you know it's sort of trump endorsed type of thing mm-hmm. i don't know what the actual allegation is it's uh, like money how- laundering it's two counts uh right. money laundering uh, three counts of conspiracy and one count of scheming to defraud yeah I, i'm just wondering what he po- oh it says right here uh, says he allegedly pocketed around $1 million. Okay. $1 well, million. Doesn't seem like enough for old Bannon there. Well. He's already a millionaire, isn't he? Uh, probably. I well, imagine so. He's okay. hanging out with the right crowd to be a millionaire. That's yeah. For sure. Now, he was trying to make, uh, he and his lawyers were making a bunch of, I, I read a ton of articles on this, unfortunately. They're all <laughs> incredibly boring. <laughs> Um, and there was really nothing in there. I don't, not, I don't know. I'm not really a fan of Bannon or something or anything. Uh, but they were, his whole case was like, or his whole plea was that this was politically motivated and it was, you know, a, a hit job and da, 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 da. not really rebuking the actual charges, charges yeah. you know? Uh, well, yeah, is, I took a million, but that's because we raised 10. He's, yeah, he didn't even say any of that, I don't yeah, think. Yeah. Um, or at least it wasn't reported on. So, anywho, oh. that's what happens when you scam people uh, and take their money and say you're going to do something and then don't 
do it. It's mm-hmm. a, it's an issue. Mm-hmm. Uh, it mentions Jared Kushner down here and I'll take the opportunity, Basil. Uh, you didn't hear Jared Kushner. I did. I missed it. I was gone you, when this, you, you, you didn't go back and, and listen to that moment when he, uh, Hans, you know how this show himself. works. We have got to keep moving forward. I cannot go back. <laughs> you, you were very surprised that I had not heard this clip while okay. I was in my long, dark <laughs> yeah, night of the soul yeah, out yeah. in the desert there. You're out in the desert. Yeah. Uh, I'll play it for you here. This is just isolated okay. um, from a, a re- recent interview that uh, Jared Kushner did. Oh, I just had it. Where did it go? Uh, here we go. My generation is hopefully with the advances in science, the first generation to live forever, or the last generation that's going to die. Oh, oh, it sounds like he's on that uh, 2045 tip. Mm hmm. Going to live pretty, forever. Pretty straightforward there. His, so this it say his generation was the last that was going to die. My generation is hopefully with the advances in science, the first generation to live forever, or the last generation that's going to die. Uh, interesting oh the the last either the first, the first to live forever the, yeah, okay either or got it or yeah. the last to die yeah okay yeah. i mean he's a billionaire weirdo man that's what they do <laughs> what are you gonna do yeah well i don't know not let him publish books maybe 